Hi, my name is Romeo Carvalho and today, today I'm going to show you how to create a Bayesian network using UNB Base. Uh, first I'm going to show you which network we're going to create. So if you go here to open network, I go to examples, uh, Bayesian network, XML, and I'm going to open the Whitegrass example. Uh, that's the network we're going to create. I'm just going to resize it here so it, we can actually check it out while we create the new one. Uh, I can select all the nodes here and make it larger so I can see it better. And you know, let's just move it a little bit here. And let's create our new network. So I'm just going to put here on the side so I can kind of copy the contents from one to the other but not actually copying it's just you know checking to see what are the values that I have to put in there okay so let's start you can see here I have let's start for with this node cloudy and if I go here to the variable this is insert probabilistic variable and I click on the canvas I create the variable. Uh, I can then change the name and the description of the variable. So I'm just going to create cloudy. And for the name and description, let's just say if the uh, weather is cloudy. And press enter. Uh, remember, I always have to press enter so the value is set to the random variable. Otherwise, the value is not set. Uh, you can also see that we have two states here, yes and no, and we have only one state on this node we are creating. So let's add one other state. We do that. If I double click here on the name of the state, we see that everything is selected. So I can change the name of the state to yes, and I'll do the same thing with no. And the values are 0.5% and 0.5%. 5%, point, not percent, 50 percent for each. Um, okay, now we have this variable. All we have to do is pretty much the same thing but with the other nodes. So let's just go ahead and create all the nodes we need. We're gonna need four nodes. There we go, we have all four of them. And what we need to do also, as you can see here, Cloudy is parent of these two nodes and these two nodes are parents of what? So I'll just go ahead and do that. If you go here to uh, insert edge, you select the source node and you drag all the way to the destination node and you let go of the mouse and you create a new edge. So we're gonna do that for other nodes we need. There we go, we just did that. Uh, now let's, you know, change the names and the values for, for those nodes. So if I see here, I want to change that to sprinkler. And let's just say if the sprinkler was on. Um, again, I can right click here and reset to fit and change the size. Uh, you can see here that we also have two value, two states, yes and no, and we want to do that also. So I'm going to add a new state, and I'm going to say yes and no, and I'm going to change the values. So instead of double clicking, I can you know always just put the values, press enter, uh, and I can go to the next one. 0.5, press enter, press down, 0.5, enter, left, 0.9, enter, and I have the new value set to that. Now I have to do the same thing with C2. I'm just going to change the name, press enter, and again, uh, if, it, if it rained. Uh, enter and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one what and let's just say if the grass is wet 
Uh, now we have to change the same thing, add the states. So let's just see what it is. I add here and I say yes. Uh, this second states no. Nope. And let's change the values. So I can say 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, and 0.2. There we go. Um, now just this one left to change and let's go ahead and add another state change the name of this state and change the values 0 0.99 0 0.01 0 0.1 you see that they always sum to one right if I don't do that when I compile I'm gonna get an error I can save the network with tables that not do not sum to one but I cannot compile them. There we go, I changed all the values. Now I can do some things here with the GUI. So I can select these two nodes and to the left. There we go. And I can select this two and align to the bottom. And these two nodes are aligned. I'm just gonna select these two nodes, put them a little bit to the side there. So I have all my nodes here, I have everything I need. I'm just gonna save this network. So I have this network selected. I go here to the save net and I'm just gonna create here new VM dot and I have to select the format. I'm gonna select our standard format, it's the XML and not the .NET format that is hugging, but you can save each way, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna press save, file is saved, and now what we can do is once we have the network, we can actually compile and, and see the, the values and do some inference with it. So in this button here, I go to compile junction tree, and I can see the values here. Uh, let's just put this a little bit to this side so you can see better. And you see that the standard way of looking at this is with the belief bars and you have on the left here the tree that shows the percentage pretty much the same thing as you have on the right you have on the left so there are two ways of uh, setting an evidence and a finding you can actually go here to the you see that gets red the uh, state that I'm selecting so I can say for instance that it is cloudy and you see that now the color changed because it's a finding and it also changed here to 100% on the evidence tree. And once I have that, what I can do is I can propagate the evidences. Uh, you can notice that, you know, when I put values here, uh, if I select, for instance, this and that, it didn't change the values because it was not propagated yet. So I always have to propagate findings if I want to see the, uh, you know, propagate the evidence that I have to see the new values of the, the nodes, the new probabilities. So let's just uh, reset the beliefs. And once I reset the beliefs, I'm gonna select again the node that I want, and I'm gonna propagate, and there you go, you get the new distribution for the other nodes. You can also, as I said, set it here, so I can double click on rain, propagate, and I get a higher chance of being wet. Okay, some other things you can do is you can collapse or you can expand all this here. You have the views to you know, select the belief bars and save them as a PNG or a printm. Uh, so you can see the belief bars and I can save them. You can fit to page and you can see it. And pretty much that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, this information here you can actually set if you want to show the log of how the compilation worked but it, since it sets to false it's not showing anything here and I can go back to the edit mode where I can you know, edit my base and network clicking this button okay this is basically what we do with base and networks in how to create them and do some propagation using MD base. thank you very much See you again soon.